the Witherby's Hamilton Handicap Chase is next end, four mile handicap, 0 to 100. Chase, of course, and the top one is Inga Bird for Darren Thompson. National pastime, Joshua Sutherland, not now, never and Hardy Accord for James Shea. Argus Sackart for David Robertson, Simple Dutch Paul O'Neill, Zinc Kevin Mainhand, Lined Hall Fox, Graham Clutterbuck, Yavari Feature, Darren Thompson, Muldoon's Mirage Martin, Lidham, Nay Secret, Derek Hinton, Swift Breeze, Stu Gray, Tambara, Paul Rhodes, Grand Article, Alex Cherry, Bogus Penny, Martin Lidham, Kono, Paul Fisk, and Southern Spectrum, Alex Cherry. 17 then. This will count as one of your four more qualifiers for the National, they're away in racing, and. Yavari feature just about with its head in front. Short run to the first, which they have all safely negotiated. 22 more to take. And no secret in the pink jacket might be the leader, but Zinc the Grey on the inside will get that position short. There's quite a few greys in this. Five of them, I think. And Zinc in the lead from No Secret and Yavari feature, then Simple Dutch. And Angus Sackart is after that one. So they make their way towards the second. Of the fences, Grand Articles just the back marker. Looking for some racing rumours, they jump that ditch, and we lost one there. Hardy Accord's gone, and so too is Grand Article. So, Grand Article was a bit obscured at the back. You could see him looking for a route through, and he's gone. And Hardy Accord fell in front of him as well. So, they're down to the third, then there. And no secret didn't jump that all that brilliantly, neither too did Kono. But they're all over it okay though this time. So, two out already then, after three of the 23 fences, they're racing down there towards the fourth. Um, Zinc, one of the four remaining greys, is in the lead, and he's secret on his nose again. Then Yavari Feature, and Simple Dutch, then comes Tambara, and Argus Sackart, and Bogus Penny, and Lightall Fox. Then National Pastime and Muldoon's Mirage as they take the fifth. They're all really, really well strung out as they pass the ambulance. Zinc on the inside is half a length up on Nay Secret as they come up past the stand. The first of quite a few times, I think. Three circuits to go, I think. And Zinc is the leader from Nay Secret. I'm going to go around another twice, and Nay Secret is the leader from Zinc second. And Yavari feature third, and simple Dutch four. Then a gap back to Tambara, another gap to Argus Sackart, and then Light Hall Fox and Bogus Penny. All doing the Mirage on the inside of National Pastime, and then a full length gap to the remainder. We're headed by not now, never, but there's an awful long way to go yet, so no need to be overly concerned. And the two trainers that have lost a horse have got other ones in it as well so they're still interested in the race two and no secret and zinc disputing the lead on the avari feature and simple dutch and tambara and they take the sixth and a couple of mistakes towards the backing of bird didn't jump it particularly well Secrets ahead of as they get to the next. No mistake this time by National Pastime. That one's been overtaken by a Swift Breeze, not now, never caught up behind it as well. So they are well strung out. This is the eighth. Let's see them all over it. With no secret in the lead for Derek Hinton. The zinc second as they take this ditch, a small looking ditch. They're all over. And now playing one good jump by Zinc on the inside there. So we put back through the field and see everybody's still jumping okay, apart from the two that fell early on. And no secret and Zinc continue to dispute the lead. Yavari feature sitting quietly in third. Simple Dutch behind them in fourth. And Tambara, bogus penny getting a bit closer, gap then to Argus Sackart and Swift Breeze is moving through the pack nicely. As they come to the 11th. Ah, there's a fall there. Something's gone. Tambara's gone. So Tambara gets through the jockey. Bad luck for Paul Rhodes. And Nay Secret and Zinc continue to dispute the lead. They get 
to the next and zinc this time gave it an almighty wallop so too down the pack did swift breeze that one's dropping back a bit now after that but nay secret has gone on by a good couple of lengths now three maybe Navari feature just moved up into second took that one really well let's watch the rest of them over it and all over okay so nay secret leads to Yavari feature second, Zinc is third, Simple Dutch is fourth, then a gap to Bogus Penny in fifth, and then Angus Sackart as they take the 14th. All over that one as well. No secret. Two lengths up on Yavari feature. Coming up past the stand again. One more circuit to go. And no secret will lead past the winning post as he did the first time we'll be hoping to do it for the third time as well leads by a couple of lengths to simple dutch has moved on nicely to second yavari feature is third and zinc is four those are a good four lengths clear of bogus penny is in fifth and another couple of lengths back to angus sackart and muldoon's mirage two greys then comes not now never and swift breeze and light or fox and national pastime and kono is behind them and then the back two are Southern Spectrum and finally Inga Bird. We're down to the final mile and a quarter or so now and no secret is in front. And simple Dutch and Zinc and Yavari feature that's the leading four. And they're well clear of the remainder at this stage but plenty of time left for the pack to close and I'm sure they will over that one they go they will jump that one nicely at the front in fact they all jumped it nicely in the whole field with no secret simple dutch zinc yavari feature still the front four as they come to this next one all over that one nicely bogus penny running in fifth then comes angus sackart and muldoon's mirage and then swift breeze and not now never simple dutch tries to poke its head in front over this 17th Simple Dutch might have just landed in front there from No Secret. He's still trying to pull away from the Zinc and Yavari feature as they take. Oh, he's gone! No, he's gone. Simple Dutch. He conquered a challenge for the lead and he's got rid of the jockey. So that's another one gone then. And they come down to the 19th and No Secret still in front. A mistake there by Muldoon's Mirage in about fifth bogus penny now being driven up to join that leading group as well and it's no secret in the lead from the zinc and bogus penny's gone third yavari feature just caught a bit flat footed in fourth then muldoon's mirage and swift breeze and argus sackart not national pastime is trying to run on we're getting down to the business end of the race now then a no secret is still in the lead but bogus penny has been driven up into second then comes zinc and yavari feature over this ditch they go oh, bogus penny's gone this time crashing full and another one line tall fox has gone bogus penny and lines all fox both crashing out at that one they've only got three more to take now they know it's no secret who's clear off swift breeze in second here comes not now never a muldoon's mirage over the third last they go and it's no secret from swift breeze not now never and then muldoon's mirage and argus sackart is after that southern spectrum's trying to run on there's only two to take and no secrets bring the lead all the way but look at this swift breeze Stu gray's only got two horses and he's landed in the lead over that one it's swift breeze from not now never then comes no secret not now never challenging swift breeze then on the outside southern spectrum it's not now never on the outside swift breeze is beginning to battle back but this is the final fence over it they go they land together it's a head bobber up the line there's a furlong to go it's not now never from swift breeze these are clear of southern spectrum Muldoon's mirage and kono running on but it's not now never is beginning to assert and not now never is going to take it and stew's going to be second he's going to be going up the wall but it's not now never that takes it swift breeze is second a good run then back in third was Kono, Southern Spectrum was fourth, then Muldoon's Mirage after that, and, well, it looked like Stu was going to get his first win of the season, he's only got two horses and he only put them in, in week five, he's planning a coup for the National by the looks of it, not now, never wins it, but Swift Breeze is running a really good race in second, and Kono and Southern Spectrum, no, not going over for James Shea, the winner. Swift Breeze for Stu Gray, second. Kono for Paul Fisk was third. Southern Spectrum for Alex Cherry, fourth. And Muldoon's Mirage was fifth. Quite a few fallers in that one.